I have ink all over my hands. I wonder why. <laughs> It gets worse when I start using wet erase. Looks better, but infinitely messier. I get me more forward facing. Oh boy. That's better. Yeah, I sent it to you on Discord. That's really cool. Is there a good way to keep track of spell slots on Foundry? Yeah, so you go to your spell book mm -hmm. and um, to the right of where it says first level, uh, there's like first level or second level and then a bunch of blank space and then you can see like a, uh, a zero out of or, a, or one out of one or a one out of three or three out of three, that kind of thing right there. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to uh, click on one of those and decrease it or increase it depending on how you want to keep track of it. Okay. If you're thinking like a, a click and it decreases by one, I haven't found that yet. I get a certain cool. amount of uh, prepared spells and then <clears throat> because of my class I get some more automatically always prepared um, and then cantrips, I don't have to worry about preparing, do I? Correct. You just have a set amount of cantrips that, oh my gosh, this is the first time you've played, you're playing a uh, spellcaster, isn't it? Yeah. Woo! That's, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, cantrips are always, always, available for, always available for you. And if I can talk, this is going to be... Wonder why. Maybe I need more light. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Yes, indeed. I'll go first. I am. I am Alianis, the Goblet Grabinski. I'm a uh, half elf, uh, 
Monk? Hooligan? What, how did I describe him on the Discord? Uh, a delinquent freelancer with a tendency towards boozing and brawling. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> well, hello, my name is Zan Serif. I'm a uh, uh, half elf, but I, my uh, mother was a drow. Um, I uh, like to stab things with things and other things that don't exist. Uh, I'm a, a rogue, um, and I've been smuggling things for most of my life. That's kind of what I do. I love tricking people and lying, but my companions are where my my heart lies. Well. <laughs> I am Akchar, 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 Akchar. I'm a Hellfire Tiefling. Just to give a little bit of background, um, I grew up in kind of a cult where we all worshipped a pit fiend, and this pit fiend ended up killing my parents um, because they tried to help one of our friends who messed up on some kind of mission. So I ran away and decided to um, do good things instead of evil things. And I kind of studied up on some healing arts to, uh, my parents died and that was sad, so I wanted to be able to heal stuff. All right. Is that just a picture of Hellboy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, think of Hellboy, uh, with goat legs, so no shadow, and I don't appear in any mirrors. Hmm. So Hellsater. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So we got we got we got a, a human and a half, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you really need. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly. <laughs> Did you tell them how you randomized them?
Sono what? Sono what? Sono Velo. Bella? <clears throat> That's a good deal. As um as she's telling us this, I want to use my psychic whispers to telepathically link with the other two real quick. Um, remind me of y'all's names because Al. Josh doesn't remember. Al. Ekchar. Ekchar? Ekchar. A-K-C-H-A-R. Char. <clears throat> um, you guys hear a voice in your minds. No, don't worry. It's just, it's just me. It's just Zen. Um, anyone else think it's a little odd that they carried family heirlooms in a. Uh, V Cove Crate. You can respond telepathically. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sus. It's 250 gold pieces each, though. True. This might be my last job. Oh, For... good I bank. I'll be there to heal you when you get down. Well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mine's a little long, I guess. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's it's way funnier. <laughs> we taking up so much room. Your name, Josh. What's up? How do you say your name, Josh? Zan. You just call, you can call me Zan. Zan. Okay. Of course. Of course, we will accept. No, I'd like to wander the city a bit, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the nearest item shop? Magic item shop? <clears throat> What's the uh, the main ship called? The the. Really vanished. I just wanted Let's to make scroll sure. up. Oh, there you go. Right click. Awesome. Awesome. So it was ghosts, right? It was ghosts. I'm calling it. Could be. Could be. I've pulled off some heists in my day that have been. Similar. 
sort of. Okay, not really, yeah. but, uh, you know, maybe not. I don't know if I believe in ghosts. Aren't you like a like a holy man or something? Yes, yes, I know. I, know. Yeah, I was gonna say there's there's <laughs> devils, there's gods, there's gotta be you know an afterlife. There's gotta be ghosts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sheesh. Or sea creatures, sea monsters. I hear there's this this big big thing. Uh, I've never seen it myself, but uh, it's, it, it comes up and grabs the ship, pulls it under. I've never heard of it giving back, though. Mm-mm. That's what's kind of weird. Like a big old crab? Uh, yes. Let's go with crab. Okay. Tasty. Yeah, I don't really like water that much. What was that, Max? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's fair. Yeah. that's fair. Waves are a little choppy today. Mm. I mean, as you boys know, I'm always tipsy, so it don't matter. This is a big time ship. It's a warship. Mm hmm. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> One hundred twenty-five members Comfy. of the crew. The big boat, a really big boat. That's freaking massive. <laughs> it big. That's that's more than big. I mean. Cruise ships sometimes have that many people, that many uh, um, employees, sailors, what do you want to call it? By the way, as we are um, in transit, I go and I try and meet the the skeleton crew, and um, everyone that I meet, kind of alone, I give a a different name. So I walk up to the the first guy and I'm like, "Well, oh, hello there. My name is Scary Mix Scary Pants." Next one, I'm Edgar, 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 Edgar. My dad was weird. <laughs> and, yeah, so on and so forth. Okay, okay. Oh, my achy breaky back. You know what I mean? Yeah, <clears throat> do you think? And ninety five percent. Seconds over. Nice. Holy crap. Boat. <coughs>
What's the um, the shape that the boat's in? Ship is in. Like pristine. polished pristine. Sniff some gunpowder. It's crisp. <laughs> Please. How long does lady say this ship was at sea? A couple of weeks, I thought. Six. <laughs> Can I make a perception check too? Please. Can I make an investigation check in instead? I should have said that beforehand, sorry. 14. So if I separated it into a separate web page, can I not? to make rolls. You can. It just sends it back to um, the main page. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing great. Three. Wait, how do you... I pointed out, and this is uh, it's not, it's not as much blood as should be. If this was truly a uh, the work of a rival ship or a company, this probably would have. We have a few holes this, in it. This whole deck would have been stained with blood. Is the blood drops? Are they uh, the blood drops? Um, fresh, or are they dry and brown? Fresh, like I can, I can get some on my finger fresh. What the heck? Well, I'm thoroughly confused. Um, real quick before we move forward, and I will, um, uh, how long did it take us to get out here, do you think? Oh, fair enough. Okay, yeah. Um, for the first time today, I will use, uh, uh, psionic whispers, uh, so that we can talk telepathically, so nothing, no voices are, can be heard. Um. Mm -hmm. mm. I think moving forward we should be quiet um, and keep your eyes and ears out uh, reach into my coat pull out a flask take a sip we best get started then Max is there a uh, a loading stick for the cannonballs nearby, just like a blunt piece of wood. Okay. I just went and grab one and swing it over my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. My first roll in this application. Boop. 27. Normal. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's fun. Well, that's cool, really. There's walls, too, so we can't, like, walk around. We have to walk around things. It's cool. Uh, I just want to, for a visual or a mental gaming, um, I am visibly wobbling, counteractive to the boat, but not the way a normal sailor would. I am inebriated, perpetually. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, think like a uh, fighting style. Huh? Yeah, basically Captain Jack Sparrow walk, if you will, but okay. more, more uh, mobster sass. <laughs> um. Um, Why should we I want to follow. First? I want to follow the blood. I was going to ask which which way down was it the the north or the the north or the south um, stairs? The blood was. I think we should head down. Roger that. Boop boop boop. Oh, that's way cool. Boop. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. Ah, dynamic lighting. I love it. Oh. Ooh. Love it. This must have been the bunk, bunk area. Is there? Just generally looking at this, <clears throat> does it look like there's enough bunks for 125 men? sense. Assuming these stairs just head back up to the uh, other deck. On this table here. Anything? Yeah, or any of these three tables. So this, this room is noticeably older and dirtier than up above. Interesting. Sorry. It's just so cool. Looks like we have a couple of rooms near the back. Oh, oh. Woody. Oh, there they are. How could we miss them? <laughs> Can I um, how long they've been dead for? I probably do. Uh, passive don't. perception yeah. is where? Where is it? Just ten plus your ten plus your perception modifier. And plus perception. Oh, so 13 for me. What do I hear? What do I hear? I'm listening. Mm. Can I get up close to one of their faces? What are you listening for? 
That was worth a shot. I go through his pockets. Nothing? Which bunk was it they were pointed towards? Okay. Nothing in it? Or... Yeah. Go check it with them. Older? Old, older is yeah, like... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, what? Could we, could we get a description of what that is? Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I played a lot of CFT, so I still didn't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, that's the I yoink mean, from me. Yoink. All yours. Maybe I shouldn't play it right now. I'm not very oh. musically inclined. <laughs> As I grab it. I wonder if we need uh, to play it. The corpse that it was holding it, is it older than the corpses on the table? No? They're all skeletal? I mean, like, these guys are all dead, right? I should play it. There's, you know? Wait, are you any good? No. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am pretty good, actually. Not bad. Wait. There's no percussion on this thing. Mm. <laughs> nice tosses. Music. Mm. Perhaps this is what led the other sailors to their death. Yeah, maybe I should stop playing it, huh? I would think so, yeah. Alright. Bag of holding a ghost. Blue bag of holding, very nice. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of uh, booze on me, so <laughs> I needed it. Fair point. Uh... Yeah, okay. Huh. Interesting. Um, while well, he's finishing his song and playing 
I'm gonna go look into these rooms down here. Possible to scroll into the map and then move sideways. Yes. If you hold right mouse, you can shift about. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Holding right mouse with the trackpad is kind of weird. Oh. I, uh... Sorry, sorry. Uh, I keep interrupting you, Max. Go for it. I thought we are were in by the description. I was just looking in. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I was I was following him. So. Standing? Standing? Like just vibing? You seeing that? Oh, hello there. Oh, um. Which was what? <laughs> You okay, Chief? Oh. Uh, there is no active combat encounter. Where's the initiative button? Huh? And attributes on the top right. Attributes. Top right. That? Can you do anything? Oh, I oh, oh, oh. there we go. What's with Eleven point sixteen. Oh, huh. Ah, so like um, the goblets and pilot, pilot eel. <clears throat> cool. Very interesting. Wow, we all rolled really <laughs> poorly. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Before I start, I'd like to ask. Do you guys think um, fire and ship goes together well? I mean, not, not particularly. I might, uh, haven't had good luck with fire and the ships I've been on. Yeah, they mostly like put tar over the wood, so we'll probably explode. Actually, all right. I'll go <laughs> ahead and the call the dead fast. cantor on the oh. skeleton. Toll the dead. I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Is this skeleton are you missing any hit points? Okay. You see 14. No damage. Pilot eel. I love it. <laughs> mm. You know, I said ghosts, but I was joking. Uh, this sucks. And I'm going to walk up, and I'm going to start clobbering it. Uh, 
bonk. <laughs> goes the club. Uh, how do I roll the club attack? Next? You can actually go to your inventory and where it says weapons, you can actually, if you hover over whatever weapon it is, um, there's a little D20 off to the left. You click on it. Oh. Attack. And then back no. over here. There you go. That's a... That one. And that one. Great first. <clears throat> Great first. Ah, round dang of it! And I go for a backhand. <laughs> Believe this is how monks work. Thirteen hit him. All right. So then I click it again for damage. Normal. Bonk. Wait, plus zero should be plus my dex. Yeah, so, six. Mm -hmm. And then I get two unarmed strikes, right? Uh, I get two attacks, so it's, a, it's attack, blows. attack. If and you then... spend a key point, and then you, so you can use Fury of Blows. Well, I've, don't monks get... Yes. Okay, so I get one, one arm attack. Okay, because it's the bonus action, right? Yep. Gotcha. Bonk. Okay. 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 So I clock hey, him in the head, and then I, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. And then I come in for a swing, uh, and then I roll back through the door. Go for the fish. Yeah, really. <laughs> <That's... clears throat> Go for it. That misses. Whoosh. Can I try and catch it? Or does it only count if it's shot at me? It's only shot at you, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, my turn. So I'm going to... Yeah, what about, what about yeah. Josh? Yeah, Josh. Good. <laughs> um... All right, Kyle. Remember what you were going to do. Um, You're good. I'm going yeah, to. I mean, I have the uh, destroy undead spell. So I, I would. I would that. save. I would save your uh, channel divinity. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling we're going to need it. Um, so I kind of I walk into the room. Hello there. There we go. Walk in. Look at the guy or the the, the eel. I reach my hand out as, I, as if I'm going to grab it, and then I'm going to flick my wrist once, and you guys watch a um, uh, purplish energy form into a, sy or a sickle as I take my attack on... Come on. Oh, here we go. Um, Psychic blade. And just a little attack. 18 to hit. Nine damage. Okay. Climactic. Kind of crouch over it. Nice Dead news is, not ghosts. It's a fish. 
There's a lot of those out here in the ocean. Um, can I see into this next room, or is that just a uh, glitch? Okay. I want to go check the other, other room now. Um, carefully and quietly. Is it locked? I shall pick the lock. While he's doing that, is this door over here locked? Alright, I'm gonna go through. And I'm gonna... Wait until he's done picking the lock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Me too. Mm. Ah, hey, pumpkin oh. spice. Really, a false the nasal passage. Telepathically, I'll be, I'll say, "Oh, that's, that's awful." But what in the heck is over there? Pointing towards the uh, the bed. We want to deal with it or leave. Looks like a body. Could have hey. some coin. This is the fancy quarters, after all. I could burn it if you want. Oh, <laughs> I'd love to burn something. I'll uh I'll hang back just a sec. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kind of just like lean over. You said there was a pumpkin at the head of the bed. Is the man headless? Hey, got a pumpkin head over here. You know, I should have figured. I could have, okay. Bro, you no ain't touching face. this haircut. I like my head how it is, thank you. So, roll initiative, I assume? Yeah? Oh, right. Oh, that guy looks so cool. What's going on there? It's oh, he's gonna mess me up. I better roll higher than him. <laughs> hey, there we go. Holy, wow, okay. I took the, um, alert feat. Oh. So, yeah. Mm. 
This got a lot better. Um, telepathically, Al, you hear, you should get away, you should get away, you should get away. Did you say hit him? I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> uh, club run. Psychically talking to a drunk man. <laughs> Can't even tell his own thoughts. I assume, I assume that's good. Max? I think. Okay, and I need to... Uh, we'll just do manual. So, uh, seven. Because the plus three. Okay. Yeah, so the club. Mm. I ain't feel right. Uh... Would you say, in my six levels of experience, I've come across creatures with magic re or physical resistance? Or no? Mm. I'm going to keep hitting him. It's kind of my thing. I'm just going to start punching him. Uh... Um, you know, we'll just we'll deck him twice. Why not? Cool. Fourteen hits. Okay. No, no, just four. That's just four. It's only on the club that I don't have the modifier. <clears throat> I'll fix it eventually. Um, and then. I can do an unarmed strike as an attack action, right? That, that's your, that would be your bonus action. Right, but I can do... Can I do, like, a club and then bonus and then my, my second attack unarmed again? Or do I have to use my club? I've not played a fighter type, so... <laughs> I don't know the rules. Uh, you can choose. You can choose. Okay, alright, I'm gonna punch him again. Nice. And eight. Now my last swing, I'm going to turn that into, uh, you know, stumble, roll, kick a chair over, and uh, shimmy, shimmy through the door. Uh, a tenth. Yeah. <laughs> I had him out of there. Um, I... Sadly, I was going to give you great power, but you ran away. It's okay. I'm still within range of you. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and cast. Hmm. Takes a lot of thought to be a spellcaster. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go ahead and cast a bless on both of my camaraderies. Yourself, up to three people. Oh yeah, and myself. I'm blessed. And then... What does the bless give again? Advantage on Deep saving to attack rolls and challenge. saving throws. Right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back up behind. Um, I'm the squishy rogue. Okay, cool. <laughs> Zan. Yeah. Oh shoot! None of us are tanks. <laughs> oh, you're the only one that's remotely tank-like. <laughs> Ten From feet there. Away, she... Ooh. Ooh, That's wild. Head seeking sight. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I just noticed the smoke effect. That's cool as heck. Yeah. I like this app. I like Notary a lot.
Nope. Mm. Thank you, Cleric. That's what I like. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna see all my companions retreating, and uh, all right. Um, as a uh, my action, I will cast. Mm, yeah, I'll cast Fairy Fire. Um, nice. around this guy. Uh, he needs to make a Dexterity saving throw. Well, that sucks. Okay. Um. It's fine. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. That is a success, unfortunately. A lot of shiny spiders right now. <laughs> um, cool. Um, nope, I'm done. Does he trip over the chair I expertly kicked over? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Multi attack action. Uh oh. Wait, Josh, what class are you again? A rogue. Okay. Misses. Misses. <laughs> that absolutely oh. misses. Oh no. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, I might as well use Uncanny Dodge. Since it's a, an attack roll, yeah. Nine? Um, down to oh, great. Better about better not be no horse ghost. Ah, you know, technically it's different. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what in the heck is this thing? <laughs> I love Pretty it. Pretty intense. <clears throat> Uh, great. Uh, I'm up, I assume. Alright, <laughs> right, I'm gonna flank him. I assume nice. I can fit in that space. Or, more or less. Right here? Okay. You're falling for the classic strategy, bub. Um, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hit him with a chair that I kicked over earlier. A.K.A. my club, still. Oh, wait, with advantage. So I'll just roll again. Okay, so the, does a 12 make contact? All right. Chair flies on? over his not head. Hey, hey! <laughs> All right. Um, boop. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonk. 
nine points. And since I have no more weapons in hand, we're going unarmed again. I keep forgetting to roll advantage. Oh, well. Wait, just in case it's a nat 20. No, okay, 17. Okay. Launch. That's a total of 13. Um, you know what? Don't I have a thing called defensive something or other? Is that a different monk that gets like a a defensive stance? That's, that's a different monk. Yeah, that's what okay. you got. Where is it? Is that that one takes a key point you're saying? Bonus action oh, okay. point. Um, you already no, do three, I'm going to save uh, my key. Attacks? Yeah, yeah, hit him. Then the right side of the three. So. Oh, okay. I got you. And now I, I stay in place. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cast. Uh, first question for DM Aura Vitality is uh, something that I cast, and then with bonus actions, I can target people to heal them. Um, would that be considered targeting someone with a spell? Okay, but like just in the bonus actions, right? Okay. Oh, what did you say Bless gave again? Is it 1d4 for... 1d4 for attack rolls. Attack, and, attack rolls. Um, uh, should I... I know it's probably post emptive Can I add that d4 to the chair attack? Or is it too late for that? Okay, no worries. Okay, I'm you just going to cast like a little blessed. cure wounds. It happens. <laughs> nice. Um, Zane. That's your name, right, Dan? Yeah, you probably only need to dump a first level into me. I'm only nine down. Okay, yeah, I'll do a, a first level on you. That's right, because you used the, the rogue thing. I don't know why I have all my real dice out. I'm not using them. <laughs> Put these away. My real dice are packed away somewhere. I have no <laughs> idea where. Nice, nice. That's ideal, really. So eight and the D eight and my spellcasting ability modifier is three, because that's just my wisdom modifier, I think. Right. I'm back so up full guys. Eleven. And then cool about the order cleric is I have voice of authority. Mm. So um I can use the power of law to drive you to attack, Zan. So you can make a uh, one weapon attack using your reaction. That's cool. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. I could I can do sneak attack. <laughs> At once per turn. Oh. Oh yeah, because like because flank. He's got advantage. Nice. I got advantage, but I also have elven accuracy, so I get to re-roll. So I get basically to roll three to d20s. That's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, y'all. Um, let's do this. And you have bless too, so that's a d4 if you want to add. Oh shoot. How do I? How do I roll one just one d four? It. A eighteen four. hit. Cool. Um. So then I'm going to do. That damage plus three 
18 points of psychic damage. Rogues, man. Jeez. Rogues. <laughs> As, as the as the slash finishes, I pull the cycle the sickle out, uh, and it vanishes from my hand, and I am once again weaponless. Am I really? Yes. Okay. Well, in that case, um, that's fantastic. <laughs> I will do it again. Go take some more damage so I can target you again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. 24 to hit. And 19 points of damage on the first hit, and then I will use my bonus action to make a, a second attack. Advantage 23 to hit. Or 12 points damage, 12 more points. Wait, sorry. That's just uh, seven, but seven points of damage there for a total of 26 points of damage for that turn. Jeez. Yes. Does not hit. Absolutely. <laughs> um, uncanny dodge. Reduce it to 10. There you go, Akchar. Ugh. Not my turn yet, though, right? Okay. Oh. Whoops. Still there? Hmm? Turn is it? Ow. Ow. Am I up? After Mr. Pumpkin Man? Okay. Since it is my turn, I do want to correct a mistake I've been making. Um, the drunken technique, I only get if I use Flurry of Blows, my immediate free disengage that I've been using already. So I don't actually have that unless I do flurry. So I probably should have still taken mobile. Oh well, it's too late now. <laughs> um, what is the nearest blunt object to me? Hmm. Perfect. Still AKA full. club. Oh wait, advantage. 
Uh, 19. Okay. And then damage. Uh, so five. And that shatters on his head. And, uh, I'm just gonna punch him a lot. I'm gonna punch him all, all over. So, dirty 20. Uh, so eight points. And then another one. Another one. Another! So another seven points. How's he looking? Yeah, I'm not going to spend a key then. I'm going to fisty cuffs up. <laughs> and it might <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> oh. Uh, how long is one minute? Ten rounds. How many? Sorry. A minute. Ten rounds. Oh, it's, it's ten rounds because each runs six seconds. Okay. Um, I'll cast another level one cure wounds on Zan. This appreciated. Yeah. That's five. Five is good. Destroy him. <clears throat> okay. For you is my command. Twenty-one hits. <laughs> no big deal or anything. A cold twenty-four points of damage. Nice. I um seeing the barrels and everything next to me. I try and juke one way to get his attention. Jump off, juke the other way. Jump off one of the barrels reach out as if I were going to uh, slash at his head. Well, where the head is supposed to be. But instead I flip it around and take the, the sickle and just chop the pumpkin straight in half. As I land, I go to one knee. And... I kind of reach out and grab it. Anybody want it? Oh, I gotta get out of this room. Eh. Science ain't my thing. I go through his pockets. <laughs> oh, like the whole thing was a ghost. The, the corpse. Oh, oh, okay. Turn to uh, Akjar. Need a need a scythe. Oh no, I'm not really into the weapon thing. I have a shield. Okay. That's it. Uh, can I even wield scythes? Glaive or a halberd? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Make it big. Which variant is this? Okay. I guess I. I'll hold on to it for now. I kind of walk out of the room. Mm. Well, if he didn't have any pockets, I just start rummaging through like the stuff. It looks like there's chests over there. 
I just want to kind of dig into it. She did say we could take anything. Taking that. I know I said I hated pumpkin spice, but uh, it's the good stuff. Oh, okay. How much? Okay, okay. Are they like barrels or are they like little wine barrel kind of things? Okay, cool. How do I add an item? There we go. Something's going down here. You can feel it. In my... Well, from the goat sky. That makes sense. I want to just take a... Take a peek down... Uh... Stairs, just to see what I see. One's on the right of where I'm at. More smells down there, guys. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. <clears throat> I walk down. Well, maybe, maybe this time I'll burn them. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Maybe, yeah. Um, not. There we go. Oh gosh. I can't go through. To be on top of it. Ah. Holy heck. I assume the big red puddle is still in effect. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not digging around in there for change. It's nasty. Nearly as red as I am. <laughs> Nearly. Uh, want to, like, cleric magic this uh, pile of blood? Some little fire? Some, uh... Holy fire, whatever. Next, I'm going to cast uh, Dancing Lights, and four globes of light start um, illuminating this area. Ah, good. I don't know how this works. Huh. 
I mean, I assume it's... Are the torches lit or something? Or I assume it's dark in here. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and just touch something near me and cast light. Oh. Ah, they're coming out of the they're coming out of the blood. Ah dang fish again. Time to burn. I think it's time to burn, yes. <clears throat> Should I dash play spooky scary skeletons or <laughs> Anybody else? Yes or no? Mm. <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> so, man. Holy crap. Okay. Lightning damage. Okay. Eh, talking about a buzz. Not the buzz I mean. <laughs> Try my best here, guys. <laughs> 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 said burn. I'm going to pull out a bomb. Um, I'm going to chuck it. Let's see. You brought bombs? I brought bombs too. Oops. That's not where I was going to chuck it. What a coincidence. I didn't bring bombs. But I got things that will explode. Uh, I'm going to chuck it right... There, do you see that? Mm hmm. Um, so each of those three need to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Take some fiery damage. <laughs> yep, just those three. Uh, DC 10. Sorry, DC 12, my bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> of course, of course, it does. Ow. Okay. Uh, so no damage. Um, 
pull out this bomb, light it, and throw it over there, and you hear this. Um, and they're still standing, and nothing happened because uh, it landed in a pile of the red, the refuse, and the blood, and it just kind of splattered that everywhere. No ah, actual damage. Jeez. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 <laughs> uh, um, in that case, uh, I'm just going to then. If I get back in the right mode here. Here we go. Um, I'm going to run and. I'll get in the center here. I'll look over to uh, Akchar and go, same as before. Get my my hand ready to attack. With advantage. With advantage. <clears throat> that misses. Goody. <laughs> the big red target. <laughs> Does it have disadvantage because it's past 90 or past 30? No. That's barely within range. Okay. Well, I mean, if you can believe it, I'm gonna hit this guy. What? But not with what you think. I'm gonna hit him with a cask of stout right on top of his head. Mm -hmm. Full on tavern brawl. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's flanked, isn't he? Yep. Welcome. How? <laughs> How is that possible? That's rough. Why? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, is that... Does an eight... No? <laughs> <laughs> Whiff. With zombies, yes, of course. And then I, I use my momentum of whiffing to uh, spin around with a back kick. That's better. Bonk. And uh, and then an uppercut. Out barrel is just too awkward. <laughs> it still has. I don't give him advantage. an uppercut. Oh right, 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 right. Good call. Oh my I'm, getting, I'm getting my real dice back out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, it's not roll 20. It won't do it to me. <laughs> you know, computer generated, uh, what, are, what are those called? Um, the the randomizers? Random, random numbers. It's pseudo random. There is no actual random randomness. To yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Uh oh. Yeah, that hits. Good. If you want, you can do Hell's Rebuke. Good point. If you want to. Bad deal, really. <laughs> I, I know I have Hellish Rebuke, but I do not. I did not uh, import it. That would be your reaction when yeah. somebody hits you. Oh. Right here, let me look it up real quick. So if it happens again. All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and cast our uh, Vitality. And then use my bonus action to, uh, oh, hey, look. Get all the way up there. <clears throat> Use my bonus action to heal Al 2d6. Nice. Wow. Five. Oh, can I still? That was just in my reaction. Yeah, I would like to. Um, it's a dex saving throw and then a 2d10, so DC 14. So 2d10 damage. Then it's a first level spell. I go into my spell slot. Take away another first. Eight. Did you get the five health now? I did, yeah. I added that. That's a no. Huh. Oh. Nine classic skeletons. Also has advantage. Hey, Max. Um, Misses. So when I healed Al, the voice of authority would have given him an attack, too. I just forgot about it. Reaction uh -huh. attack. Eighteen plus something. I'm sure that gets him. <laughs> <clears throat> And normal damage, seven. <laughs> Try the shot. Yeah, he missed. Who's he, who's he aiming for? Enough? 
Yeah, that hits. Are you looking? I'm good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Hellish Rebuke again, but cast at level 2. AC 14. Are you? 3d10 now? Oh, 3d10, yep. Fourteen. <laughs> nice. Beautiful fire. Okay. Um, telepathically to everyone, I go... Do we want some cover? Okay. Um, and then I will cast... Wait. Uh, How? We'll cast Darkness. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that you were telling me to get. Yeah. <laughs> let's go... Fine, let's go I'll just... There. I'll just punch aimlessly. Well, no, let's put it... No, no, no. cover us up. It'll be great. I mean, I'll, I have advantage on this guy, so I'll just have normal attack, basically, right? Well, what's cool is it's a, it's a sphere, so there's like a 15-foot high dome, basically. Or, no, actually, I'll cast it in the air a little bit, so it's just a big black uh, orb hovering there, um, which is stopping the people down at the end from shooting crap at us. Nice. Um, and then I will use a bonus action to make a um, extra blade attack. I'll go to the one to my right. Or... Advantage, 21 to hit. Thirteen points of damage. Oh, that was an awful roll for the one to my right, yeah. To get advantage. Um and then I will Um, I'll sneak in between these two and get right there. That's my turn. Patenton. Trademark pending. Uh, it does hit, yes. It's a vibe. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Um... Uncanny dodge. I'll take that down to five. Ooh, wait, where's Mr. Gun? I didn't see him. Oh, probably because he's in shadow, I bet. That's why. Move. Uh, look up to the north. Hold another section up there. 
I bet I just can't see him from here. Oh, yeah. There. Okay. I'm going to roll clumsily over this cannon, but at the same time, swinging that cask again, one-handed. Why? Holy crap, dude. Why didn't they just roll my real dice? Got them out for this purpose. Biffed it. Uh, you know the deal? Momentum. Punchy time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just doesn't like the cask. That's what it is. It seems, it seems that way, yeah. Wait, is it not adding... Not adding my dex, it's adding strength. So it's technically 11 with the club. I don't know why I didn't adjust for dex. But I assume 11 doesn't hit either, right? Okay. And punch him again. So that's 9. And screw it, we're going to use a key point and just keep punching him. That was your bonus action. Oh, you're right. You're right. Good call. That is my turn. Do you not see my rolls? Yeah. And then a four. four. And then a four. Total of nine points of damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I take a swig from my <clears throat> ask of stout. It's not very <laughs> you good. If again, and then you just bring it to your lips. <laughs> nope. No, it doesn't hit. No, no, it's not a hit. Nope. If I cast a, a 15 foot cone spell, would that hit the two guys in front of me and not? Uh, Zan. Yeah, you can use that to miss. Okay. I'll go ahead and cast Burning Hands. Nice. Yep, and it is against my Charisma modifier, so it's only 11 DC. Oh, man. Nice. Okay, so that's... It's a second level, um, so it's going to be 4d6 fire damage. I'm out of first level slots. And then I will use my bonus action to heal 
uh, Al again, two d six, and give him a, an attack. Nice. We're using dice again this time. Seven health. Nice. Um. Yeah. Uh, my roll was not very good. Um, eight plus what? Six. Fourteen. Did I get him. It is six, right? For an unarmed. The scroll up. Yeah. I think so. That gets him. Cool. Damage. Six. Catch it. Sands. Um, going to five, ten, twenty five. Um, is there a reason why I can't see this center area? Like this, this swath in the middle that I can't see. Now I can, yep. Nice. I was there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, I want to... Actually... Yeah. Um, can I duck behind, use bonus action, and try and hide behind this cannon from the, from the skelly? Um, stealth check. 17. Um, then I'm going to pop out and throw my sickle at him. I just fling my hand and as it, le as it's like the motion of throwing, the sickle appears and then just jets towards it. Um, for... Do I have advantage on this? 20 suit hit. And... What's the damage? 18 points of damage. Sorry. Psychic. Sweet. And then I... And, and eel. And I'll use my last little bit to kind of get down the sickness and uh, kind of crouch in the, the corner there. That's my turn. <clears throat> I went the wrong way. <laughs> Mm. Close. <laughs> Hit me with it. Hit me, Skelly, one more time. <laughs> oh. 
That's tasty. Okay. It's a chunk. Rather, she didn't. Oi. Okay. You looking, bud? Low. Very low. I got you, man. Perfect. All right. Um, let's see. How does this thing work? Yeah. That's a whole action I have to waste. No thanks. I'm just going to punch him. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Don't have advantage anymore, but I get... Spend a key point on this one. So, that's four unarmed strikes total. Right? No. Action. Bonus action. Second attack, yeah. Action is two attacks, and then your bonus action, so you got three. I also have... Uh, where is it? I have an extra attack. That counts as your action. So, your action is your attack action. Right. And you get your your attack and your extra attack in your attack action. Yeah, and then I get a... Um... I, what's the word I'm looking for? Flurry of Blows for another two, right? The but two on your bonus point? action. Right, so total of four still. Yep. Okay. Sorry, I was making things Okay. Confused. Ooh, I mean, two fives plus six, so eleven. I assume those don't hit. But I got a thirteen, so uh, nineteen, and a nat twenty. So, that's going to be... Now you're good, man. We are back. Oh. Damage. Critical hit. Mm, monks. Uh, 13. <laughs> what a waste of a key point. No, no, 13 total damage. <laughs> It was 13 plus 6, so. Key points total. That's my whole turn, by the way. Um, I'll go ahead and cast a Cure Wounds at second level. You have to get up close to him. Okay. Yeah. Much. Right. I can't move my character right now. Um, oh, I know why. Never mind. Right behind him. <clears throat> oh, Al, you're being flanked. Second level. Going to be 2d8. So nice. I'll heal for 9. And then uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to heal you an extra 2d6. Nice. Not either of those, you can make him attack, right? Right, but just one of them because it uses his reaction. So oh, you can go nice. ahead and use your re reaction to make an attack. So okay. Uh, fourteen. Does that get him? The pistol wielder. Oof. Biff it. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, action or my my movement five and fifteen twenty twenty five. Okay, let's just do this. And then bonus action, uh, dash to get behind him to flank. And I'm going to take my attack on him. And also calling out, Al, if you need a breather, jump into the dark. Breach but then the I dark. can't see. Um, <laughs> advantage... Uh, 19 to hit. Twenty one points of damage. Yeah, that's my full turn. Twenty hits, thirteen does not. Um, okay, I'll do Kenny Dodge to reduce that to five. Ah, oh, it's punching time. Yes, I do. Freaking. Uh, I'm gonna pick L. up a bone off the ground from one of the previously murdered skeletons. Bonk. Better. Uh, seven. I'm gonna need to fix that. Yeah, seven for the first hit. And then... Another five. Nice, these consistent numbers. And another eight. I really need to modify this club. Edits. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Cantrip Sacred Flame on him. So, Dex. it's a dexterity save. Against 14 DC. <laughs> nice. So that's. That's uh, 2D8. Be... Yes. Kaboom. Yes. Oh. And then uh, And then bonus action I'm gonna heal Al again for two D six. Right. And you can attack if you want to. Oh, nice. Mm. Five health. Five health? All right, and I miss, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'll do what I do best. I will slash and hack at this thing. First attack. 22 hits. Four... 17 points of damage. Second, 17 points of damage. Second attack is 22 to hit. 
for six points of damage. Wow. This guy's tough as bones. Uh, hey. Hey. Is it attacking? Cool. That is my armor class. I will take an uncanny dodge on that one uh, to reduce that to what? Um, seven? That hits. Okay. Well, if you can believe it, it's Friday once again. Okay. 17, 16, and 6, plus 6 to all of those. So, two of them hit, I'd assume. Uh, damage, 6, and 7. Total of 13. I want to punch through the rib cage, grab the eel, and then pull it out, and then just start punching the eel. <laughs> Grandma teach me that. Toss it. <laughs> All right. That's everybody, right? Oh, wow. You're so weird. <laughs> um, so, would you say there are, like, maybe three or more, uh, three or four more turns before my uh, vitality goes out? So, I could just do two, uh, two 2d6s on each of them for health. Nice. That'd be great. Let's... Oh, that's I got it. My bad. By the way, uh, Kyle, I'm at um, five hit points. Yeah, just give them all to him, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, so just one more 46, then. 21. Nice. 21? Yep. Twenty-one. Awesome. Almost at full. Oof. Oh, oh, loud. heavens! <laughs> you stop playing that music, please. It ain't me this time. I swear. Well, maybe. No, it ain't me. Is it me? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Sorry. We can turn it down manually too. Um. Um. Uh. Oh. What's I... up, Where did that? Where did that skelly captain come from? I want to go and check that out. I say we mosey. Mosey away. I want to check. Can I check it for traps. Team locked. I guess I open it. Yeah, that checks out. Hmm. 
Mm. Anyone good with firearms? I mean, my aim's pretty solid, so, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Arm animal noises? Arm animals. Etc. Um, a... oh, I very unprofessionally moved the gun around, not understanding how to fire it, as I've never held a firearm. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <A> pistol shrimp. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah. A bio. <laughs> of crustacean and fire it's magic Holy weapon games. action was what that's insane okay it's like once a day or at least a series of pressure waves causing pockets that huh fun and it can it looks like it can only be fired underwater then or is it a pistol that has this effect when underwater? Okay. Funky. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't do underwater. Very I much. do, yeah. I'm going to open the door and, and take a look in. Uh, Max, can you add it to the item list? I don't see it on like, the handout list or anything. I don't see it. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Pistol shrimp. And they're still alive. Okay. Are they good? I turned to Al. No, there used to be, there was a book my mom used to read growing up. Oh, my dad, actually. My mom was kind of a big on figure. But uh, my dad used to read this book about these, this farmer who went to a farm, bought it, and then found out all the animals were acting like the other animals. Um, kind of like this. All we have right. to do is... All we have to do is teach each animal to be like itself instead of be like the others. It's simple enough. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm going to leave. You see Wait, hold, hold on. <laughs> like their legs are merging with the wood. Oh my gosh. That's gnarly. The ship is eating the animals. <laughs> um, I'd I go like to, to a check goat. this other room. <clears throat> they look malnourished. Is that fun? Huh. Max, I want to check this other room for medical supplies. I want to go and I want to see if I can get a, uh, a couple of chicken eggs. <laughs> oh gosh. That's horrifying. I think uh, with your early idea, let's get out of here. I don't yeah, like this. Uh, can I take another investigation check just to see if we miss anything in here? I rolled a nat one, by the way. Oof. Uh, 22. Those 
them in fun, and I grabbed those and I kind of pocket them. That's very specific. Here it oh, rattled, yeah, I like, put my head back. Ah! Now that's fancy drinking right there. Just uh, careful it's not you know, magic or poison or weird or anything. Uh, but let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to use a, a guided cantrip on both of them just to help with anything they do. Um, yes, I'd yes. like to peer through the pit. What's going on down there? And a hole. Oop. I, I didn't want to go there. Yikes. You just fell uh, down. Basically. There we go. Hmm. I listen really carefully for flowing water in particular. Is it still? Or... Okay. My perception... is... six. Nice. I think this ship's sinking, fellas. Shouldn't be a draft down here. No. We That's haven't so found any of those boxes yet. It's gotta be down here. Yeah, true. Um, I guess they're walking carefully and slowly down the stairs. Um, Remember to add a D4 to uh, ability checks that you make since I have, gave you guidance. Oh, through bless. Is that still up? Uh, guidance. Guidance. And it's just oh, oh. Oh, okay. okay. Freaky. What the heck is going on here? Uh. uh nope. 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 <laughs> Nope. Hold on, fellas. We you? Was that just my imagination, or? Nope, I heard it too. There's a living person in this living boat. Right. What are you, uh... 
I got I got nothing. I, this is beyond me, frankly. Who who are you? Oh, very oh. carefully. Oh, hold on. Is that rum? Go for it, Al. Yeah, save that for later. I need it. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. PDF moment. <laughs> I can't believe you, Lord Jabu Jabu, does Max. I mean, sure, but why ain't you dead? Seriously, everyone else is. But, like, yeah, all right, yeah, touche. I hey, jimmy the door. I assume it's locked, of course. Mentally or physically? Can I look down at her feet, see if they're attached to the floor at all? That's good. Um, it's not eating you. Yeah. That's a plus. Uh, you're good with the lock picking and whatnot. I can't. I jimmied it. That's that's all I got. Oh, uh, you you didn't. Oh, come on. I'll, I'll jimmy it again. I'll jimmy. No, 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 no. It's locked. Don't I don't know. To... No. <laughs> don't mess with it anymore. <laughs> Come over and kind of stare at her in the eyes. What is that? And I'll point to the green membrane. It had to have happened after you were put in here. Ow. Why didn't it mess with you? That's my question. I'm not a smoke master. Go for it. It seems like what? Oh, that's me. As she's talking, I'm getting out my my um, 
pick lock set and uh, starting to work on the door. I'll go over to this one and Jimmy as well. Ah, nothing I can do about it. Yeah, what's said? What's the deal here? But rib cage opens. What hole? Is this? A, are we in a fish? Is this a fish boat? Great. Biggest fish there is. Tell me, fellas. Give me just a second, you guys. Okay. I love this song. I don't know why. It's just, it's very uh, head bopping.
Okay, sorry guys. Oh, yeah. I'll uh, step aside. Before that'd be nice, please. Oh, nice. Height. I mean, there's a boss fight coming, right? <laughs> I know the rules. Wait. You mean gone one day? This whole thing is strange. I look in the cell. Is it like an inside out body, or what are we looking at here? Gross. It says he's got an amulet. Not worth anything. <laughs> Inconvenient. Can you uncurse it? <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, you said you were a pirate in this rig. How long ago? Did you know its contents, or just hap upon it? That makes sense. Makes sense. Seen any crates? FV written on them? Somewhere about, hopefully. Hmm. Yeah. Long thing, yeah. Gross. Alright. Uh, how are you gonna? How are you gonna get out of here? I mean, but like we're on a boat. Okay, just don't take our rowboat. I like that one. <laughs> I basically Maybe guarantee we'll... that she will take our rowboat. Maybe we'll see each other again. You can buy us drinks. Oh. Uh, so the big wall thingy. Can I make an investigation check to see if I can see um, anything of worth within this main cargo hold? Um, I go, uh, hey, Akjar, do you want to help me with this? Yeah, I'll give it some guidance. Perfect. And then uh, I'll... It's a D4, I think. D4 plus are you giving me the help as well? Mm -hmm. Cool. Ooh, 
30. Can I rip open the sack? Oh. This is kind of cool. Check it out, guys. Yeah, look at the craftsmanship. Some is fine it's... detail work. So it's now just basically a ship with some organic parts. Can I look at the ship in the bottle? Is it is it the same same ship we're on? About the whale underside, I assume. <laughs> Can I shake the bottle just sh just ever so gently? Do I feel anything? You want to put this in that bag of yours, Al? Oh, yeah. Why not? I wonder, wonder if that's useful. Char, what are your thoughts? many thoughts. No, it's strange. The ship in the sack like very much similar to the ship we're on. I will give guidance to whoever does it. I will do it. Insight, you say? Insight's not great. So advantage plus d4. Ooh. Okay. Good. Lots. Killed a lot. Eaten a lot. Like there's duplicates of things. Hold up, fellas. Remember that time down in that cave we killed that chest that had like the teeth in it? The mimic guy. Yes. Yeah. yeah remember when we like opened it up looking for the gold? And it had like the teeth and the rib cage on the inside, but it was there's no gold. And then there was wood on the outside. You saying? I'm saying, mimic oh, guy. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. So this isn't apparently. The no, probably not. Or well, 
maybe I don't know how mimics are made, honest. But uh, <laughs> I think that's what we're dealing with here. Ah, if it's like that thing in that cave, then this chamber. Uh, where the the good stuff is, you know what I mean? Uh, or the heart and the lungs and all that fun stuff. So you're saying that point down to the the membrane with the the hole. What do you think that is? What do I think that is, Max? <laughs> At the back of the ship. Does that look like a like a throat membrane kind of thing? Yeah, I'd say we could probably kill it if we go in there. But then the ship will go down. I don't know. Question is, is it harming anybody? Technically speaking. On purpose. It, it already did. Yeah, but was it on purpose? You know, like a... Really hippogriff. Matter. Hippogriff eats a guy. You know, it's just eating lunch. I think sometimes the law is the law. The law must be followed. Yeah. I mean, hey, as long as we get the boxes, I don't care. Yeah. I think we have two choices. We can either blow it up with all the gunpowder in here and set up a, a train of bombs outside to our rowboat, or we can find the boxes that we're here to look for and then kill it and then leave. Hmm. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I like the finding the boxes part and then the killing it part. That sounds fancy. <laughs> that or I wonder if the uh, our employer will want this ship to sell to researchers mm. so they can learn some more wacky about... collector yeah yeah something like that so I wouldn't figure out how to sail it I mean it's a ship like any other technically speaking I, I've sailed ship my, ships my entire life pretty much yeah yeah. Max, as we were up at uh, the, um, uh, on the, 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 Oop deck. Which, which deck is that? The top deck, the main deck, the, the, the main poop top. Deck? The... I feel like that's the poop deck. <laughs> up there. Um, did, did I get the sense that this is, Moving because of the air flow, air, the, 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 the current, um, or is it moving against the air, moving against the wind? Or just, just still? Was there an anchor in the water? Probably go up and check real quick. Wasn't moving. Well, let's let's see if we can get the boxes first, and then we can look into possibly sailing this sucker back to our employer. Yeah, and this thing will uh, this will make us rich, man. If it does sail, I mean, mm -hmm. dangerous as heck these things. Just think of sending one of these into enemy waters. And... Just I mean, let him go ham, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, let's. I turn towards the the throat. Let's get swallowed. In we go. It's like a membrane, like a flat plane. What's on the other side? Oh, goody. Um. Let me try something. I shake a little booze on the membrane.
<laughs> some of that, some of that good rum that I just picked up. Max trying to figure out what the heck is supposed to happen after that. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, yeah that's worth a shot. Everyone likes a good rum. I like it. Quivers. You might need more. Al, you might I, need to give up more. You have any idea how much of that stuff I have in here? I don't actually. I grab three casks of um. Oh my gosh. Well, decent ale and hand one to each of us. It's not shaking, Shall fellas. We? <laughs> <laughs> um the idea was swallow. <clears throat> yeah see if it would relax it with a little booze does it if not react whole, to the booze if the whole relaxes at all I, I would say to like my hand through it and kind of try to pry it apart <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. I pull out, I take the white glove off. Um, We can cut or we can squeeze. Uh, I mean, if we're going to be driving it, I want to piss it off. All right. Um, blinks first. I guess I'll go. Sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up a bit. I'm going to take a <laughs> running dive through the center. Yeah, boy. Heck yeah. Which is now nice and liquored up, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, hey. <laughs> Funky in here, fellas. It's funky. All right, Akchar, let's get you through. I'll help Akchar get through. <laughs> Muted. By the way, we can't hear you, Kyle. I uh, with advantage because I was helping him. If that's okay. Turn. Acrobatics, right? Nice. Mm. 
May I see if I perceive the chests with the letters? Oh, we weren't that far off at all, boys. But what's in between us? That looks like a clam, I mean. Oh. Oh. Badoop. There Can he is. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. That was weird. Discord be like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, clams don't move particularly fast. We can just go around it, probably. And not if the whole thing is the clam. Oh, that's can a good I, point. Can I try and sneak off to one side and see if anything reacts? I'll try and, like, go over here-ish. <sighs> 27. Don't let the call scratch you. I grab it? Ah! Baby Mimic! Baby <laughs> Mimic! Oh my gosh, it's proliferating. <laughs> or, is that the right word? I'm gonna make a fortune off this thing. Wait, did that mean that we uh, killed... I mean, we didn't see any other Mimic Babies. Juvenile Ultra Mimic. It just hits. Little tiny cannons. I love it. Hope. Oh. It's adorable. <laughs> PC seven strength. Says seven. I can't believe this. <laughs> DC, how much? Uh, Twelve. Oh. Uh, All right. 18. Yeet. That's a minus one too. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Wait, why isn't it rolling? The key does not exist in the embedded collection collection. It's alright, I'll just roll real dice. Unless you have like some sort of board that you want me on. I'll reload my character sheet. He does not exist in the embedded collection collection again. I don't know what that means. Are you familiar with whatever that is? No. Okay, I'm rolling a regular die. Uh, total of 18. Ooh. Yep. Point sixteen, I guess. Eight 
18. Yep, I'll write it down. Uh, 16. So 18.16, I assume. Oh, tight. Um... No, nah, that wouldn't work. There's no way that would work. Give me a second. The music's okay. called. I'm gonna lives. whip out. I'm gonna whip out a net, and I'm gonna try and catch it. Uh, so the way a net works. A larger, smaller creature hit by a net is restrained until it is freed. How do I hit it? Good. Yikes. Okay. Uh, how do I attack with a net? I don't understand this. Is it just instant? Did it just happen? It doesn't say it like I need to roll anything. So... Okay. Disadvantage? <laughs> Not great. Plus what? Plus your dex. Plus proficiency. Plus dex. In ranged weapon. weapons? I mean, it's not a... a it's like a weapon, basic, right? it's a simple weapon. Yeah, so I guess I am. So, plus six. So, uh, 12? Does that... Does that get that little guy? <laughs> mm-hmm. Doesn't get him? Biff it with the net. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna start punching it. And, uh, we'll use a heat point as well. It's a total of three, then. All right. 22, 14, and 25. And we're down a key point. Do all those hit? All right. Seven, four, and nine. So, 20? Is it? Yeah, 20. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But kind of terrible, honestly. I'm like punching a baby. But you never punch a baby before? I mean, that's beside the point, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm par for the course. I'm par for the course. That hits exactly. Can't believe this. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, I think I got a monk thing for this. Knee deep water? And we're like, it's... 
Wait, man, I really should have taken the mobile feet. I think that would ne would have negated this. Oh well. <laughs> All right, uh, bonus action: disengage. Come up here, and I'll take. Um, yeah, I'll take my attack on this thing. A uh, single attack because apparently it's disadvantage. Twenty-two to hit. Two damage. Thank you. Rogue up. Something, something sunk my battleship. <laughs> Is there any, um, <laughs> any reaction from Mama Ship? Uh, so the rest of my movement and two, three, and that's it. Well, you probably can't go that far because the membrane. Oh, I like. Okay. Membrane's gone. That'll do it. Okay. Yeah, just barely. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, as my reaction, on the one that missed me, uh, is that, is that thing technically five feet away from me, at an angle? The, um, the boat, little boat? Mm. No? Hmm, alright, never mind. Bonk. <laughs> All right. 
Hmm. Kyle, good to go. What was that? Oh, you said Al. It's Zach Char, is it? My turn. Oh. Good. Um, so... I have winged boots. You do have winged boots. Fly! Fly up out of the water. Out of any melee attack range. Then I'm going to cast Aura of Vitality. And then, bonus action, I'm going to use a channel divinity, one of two charges that I can use to get back um, one of my spell slots. Nice. Level two spell slot. Nice. That's it. Cool. All right. So that's your turn. Now it's Al's turn. Well, if you can believe it, bonk, bonk, bonk. Here it comes. Oh wait, disadvantage. Sorry. Um. So, crap. And crap. Mm. So only the 17 gets them, I assume. Yep. Okay. Wait. Don't I have a monk thing for that? That's always the question. Isn't there a monk yeah. thing? <laughs> I could have sworn... Oh, it takes two key points to do it. It's not worth it. Um, the little boat takes eight points of damage. All right. The music, by the way. Mm. Jamming. All right. All right, Josh, it is your turn. This? Okay. Um, well, you just, how, how high did you fly? Uh, um, probably like 15 feet above the water. If there's space down here. I didn't range anymore. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to use my bonus action to do a steady aim to give myself advantage on the next attack roll. Um, and then I will attack. Alright. <sighs> Just a... Yeah. Sixteen hit. Uh, when you're attacking the tiny ship. Uh huh. Yep. Sixteen total uh, hits. Oh wait, no, not sneak attack on this one. Darn it. Uh, nine points of psychic damage. All right. And that's it. Okay. All right, this tiny mimic is going to make a bite at you. That's a 22 to hit, Josh. Holy hits. 
That's five points. And then this is going to make some tendril attacks. That misses all of you. That misses who I'm targeting. That misses who I'm targeting. That does not miss Kyle. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. How many attacks does this thing have? Uh, Kyle, you take four points of damage. And finally, that does not hit Mr. Drow in the back. Oh, I think he's got reach. Kyle, it's your turn. Okay. How are you guys doing on health? I'm dandy. I'm uh, 13 down. Max of 37. Okay. Um, that boat by you, uh, Zan, has been hit, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cast the Toll the Dead cantrip. Good choice. On that little boat below me. That's a zero. <laughs> so it fails. That double the dice, right, Max? That's uh... uh... <laughs> Okay, so that's a 2d12 level 6. 16 damage. Nice. nice. Very nice. And then bonus action, heal Xan 2d6, and he can make an attack with his reaction. Sick. Fortunately, it's with disadvantage, but, you know, take what you can get, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, five health. Uh, 23 with disadvantage. Yeah, it hurts. Ah, uh, the other one was a nat 20. Six points of damage. Psychic. Alright. This thing's looking pretty hurt. And that's your turn, Kyle. Right. Alright. This thing's gonna take another bite. At... Al here, but misses. Yoink. And now it's Al's turn. Alright. Oh. Yeah, we'll deal with these little boats first still. Oh. Uh, any improvised weapons near me? Coral. Nah, you don't want to touch that. Al. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Disadvantage, 12, 10, 11. <laughs> loose rib ah. bone. Nah, it's too late. I've already swung. Jeez. Yeah, just punch your water. Psh, psh, psh. It's like I don't want to hit it. <laughs> Alright, Josh, you're up. Alrighty, okay. Uh, um, some of these crates that are over here, Max, mm -hmm. are they poking out of the water at all, or enough to where I could get on top of them to get out of disadvantage? I'd say so, yeah. Okay. So, bonus action, disengage, go hop up on this crate over here, All right. and I'm going to chuck... I'll check my scythe, uh, my, my sickle. Actually, I still, I'm still holding the scythe. Hold on a second. Hmm? 
you know? Sure, why not? Um, as I'm still holding the scythe with one hand, I'll uh, use my action to command forth a phantom steed. Um, the creature always appears as an amphibian sea mare. Oh, uh, that's what you summoned. Yes. All right, let me uh, go grab that for you. Statistics of a giant seahorse. Um, it has a walking and swim speed of 100 feet. <clears throat> it has the amphibious trait instead of uh, the water breathing trait. It has frightful presence. Oh, it has something then, really good. Confer incorporeality. What is that? The sea mare can grant the ability to move through other creatures and objects to anyone riding it. Okay. Oh. Pretty tight. I'm going to hop on. Power Absolutely. Two. Cool. Um, I hop on this uh, this ghostly sea mare, and <clears throat> I'll go. I'll call you Stuart, <laughs> and I'll turn the reins back towards the uh, fight. And do I have? Can I have control of Stuart? Uh, sure. Let me give you. Friendly, display name, I, I, I would like to give permission to Josh, please. If you would be so kind. I would like to be so kind, but I cannot be so kind. Unfortunately, it does not want to listen to me. Okay. Well, so we'll just stay will... here on it. Okay. Um, in that case, I'd like to have it move kind of back over in this area. If that's all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and that is my turn, I guess. Nineteen to hit on a bite against Akthar. Uh, Akthar is fifteen feet in the air. Akthar. Oh, never mind. Sure. Nineteen to hit against Al. <laughs> yeah, that'll get me. Sorry. Four damage. <laughs> All right, and then All good. Um, a crap ton of tendril attacks. All right, first two against Al. The first one's an 18. Yeah. Second one's a nat one. Okay, with that one, I would like to redirect the damage mm -hmm. uh, using redirect attack. Spend winning key point, cause attack to hit one creature of your choice within five feet. So, little guy right next to me. Give him a bonkin. Beautiful. Very nice. Mm-hmm. And then, how much damage do I take from that? From the um, first one? From the first one, you take... Six damage. Okay. And then the tendril... Then the sm tiny mimic takes six damage from your... Redirected attack. Hello.
Hello? Why aren't you changing your health? Gosh dang it. Where'd it go? Did I just walk off the screen? <laughs> Well, that one died. So you redirect it to the other one. Stop moving. Jeez Louise. <laughs> this goes to show Foundry still is in development. <laughs> I mean... Sure. Anyway, all right, you bonk one. And then I get two more attacks. <sighs> Let's see. Nope. Yes, against uh, Big Red. You will take four points of bludgeoning damage. And that's it. Al, you're up. Okay. I got this little joker next to me, and the other guy's still there technically, right? Not really. No? Okay. Let's punch the other one then. Bruh. So bad. Best roll yeah. there is a four. Uh, sucks. Sucks. So oh, nothing. No. Nothing at all. All right. Nah, screw it. He's getting a. Oh no, I can't do a key point. Never mind. Josh, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> um. Do I see... is the clam shell closed? It is. <laughs> um, with this incorporeal movement, can I ride this beast straight into the center of the clam shell? Time to read the wording very carefully. <laughs> uh... Technically, yes. You can. Will you allow it? Yes. <laughs> Especially because it says if you end your turn there, you'll take damage. It's okay, he has 100 feet movement. So... I will <laughs> move 45 feet to get there. Okay. I want him to start sinking into the bottom of the boat and kind of put my upper torso in the center of this giant clam. What do I see? Brain matter. Mm. Just straight up. Blue brain matter. Oh, look at that. Fancy. I'm going to take a swipe at it. Yeah, no, I'm going to take a swipe at it. Um, do I get... Being inside of it, do I possibly get advantage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was just wondering... So that's a 23 to hit. That hits. Nineteen points of psychic damage. And I'm going to take my bonus action to attack it again. Okay. Another 23. 
the eight points of damage. Okay, can... all right. Then I will rear my steed around and hightail it 55 feet back to, like, here-ish. So how much damage did you do? You come near me. I want to use it, too. <laughs> um, to to a total of twenty seven points of damage. Total of twenty seven. Come on, I just want. No, to... actually, I just want to go fifty feet back. There. Gosh dang it. Trying to keep track of health here, but for some reason I'm screwing things up. Good. Come on. By the way, if it gets an attack of opportunity, that's okay. It does not. <laughs> that's surprising. All right, I'm just going to have to keep track of it separately. All right. Kyle, you might, you might have to keep me alive this next couple rounds. <laughs> As you slice okay. into it twice, all of a sudden, a voice comes into your mind. It oddly sounds like your own, and it booms into your head, echoing from below as though it passed through a great volume of water. We make more of ourselves in the sea. You made more of yourselves on the land and loved yourselves. And then you came here. One moon you will retire and make more of yourselves. But now more of myself are here, growing, soon to join the sea, to make more of themselves. You come to take them away, to stop ourselves? Are there enough seas for us? As it says that, you get, and as you slice into it, you get two visions. Um, you get a vision of absolute darkness, nothingness. And then the second vision you receive is a sole human in a primitive diving suit, excitedly waving and then carefully scooping some of the primordial white slime into a metal canister. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> what to do with that? Bite time. Oh, no. <laughs> 19 to hit on Mr. Al. Yep. A nice Mr. Al. little 7 damage. Okie dokie. And then uh, Mr. Brain here is going to... Whiplash. Just, just go ham. Really. Mm. Okay, uh, the 1324 against Al. 13 misses, and I'm redirecting that. Okay. Uh, then two attacks against... Mr. 18 hits. Yeah, 18 hits. Okay, so let's roll some damage. The six was for me. So the six is for you, the U7, you redirect, and it kills this guy. Shh. And um, then Kyle, you take seven points of damage. And that's its turn. Kyle, you're up. Um, so I'm going to fly forward. Let's see. Hmm. 
Mm. Can't quite get all the way there. But I'm just gonna fly forward right here. And then going to use I'm gonna throw a level two cure wounds into myself. Okay. Plus three, so eleven. So eleven. I'm up to thirty six. And then, um, I guess I'll use my uh, uh, what's it called? Our vitality on Al. Nice. So six health, Eight. and you can attack anything near you. <laughs> Water. Can I use range weapons with that? No, I think it's just a melee weapon. Hmm. Uh, nothing yeah, near me, just so weapons. no worries. Yeah. All right, Al, you're up. All right. Thing's not actually open, right? Not right now. It's still now, closed. No. Okay. It is just a weapon attack, so it can be ranged. Oh, then uh, so yeah, I'm gonna one weapon attack. I'm gonna chuck a dart interest. at him for that reaction thingy. All right. No, that biffs. All right. Uh, enough of this attacking nonsense. It ain't working. We're gonna pull out the lost lover's whale. Oh. Jeez. And I'm going to attempt to charm the brain. It's an action. It's an action. It has to make a DC. Wait. It is of uh, your choice, so you can make it not affect yeah. your teammates. Yeah. So just make it affect the brain, and it must succeed a DC 15 wisdom save. Or be charmed until the music ends, or they can no longer hear it. This is an hour. Hmm? This is an hour, right? Yeah. <clears throat> cool. So it's it's charmed now. Mm -hmm. Under the influence of the song, the target is incapacitated. If the charm target is more than five feet away from you, it must spend its turn moving towards you by the most direct route. It doesn't avoid opportunity attacks, but before moving into damaging terrain, such as lava or pit, whenever it takes damage from source, other you can repeat the saving throw. I can also repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. Oh, okay. Never mind. But yeah, so the brain has to physically try and get to me. Okay. <laughs> it can't move, so it's going to have a tough time doing that. Yeah, but I mean, it can, like, open it up to get closer to me. Huh? No. <laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> but it won't be attacking us. All right. Probably. And I'm going to use Josh, my movement to, uh... Let's see, where's the ruler? There we go. What do I got? 45? I'm gonna get behind it. Alright. Hey. No, wait, I wanna. No, I wanna. As an action. There you go. I will expend one psychic die. Okay. Attempt to psychically connect with the mimic. Feel the connection solidify? Oh, yeah. One new project towards it. You're not fully enemies. You've come for some of the cargo that was in this ship. 
What is it that you want? You see more memories. I can see Max's cursor going back and forth reading. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it communicates to you that the precious cargo that you seek after is its very children. That with the psychic link, it knows your employer deliberately sacrificed this ship to make it to become an ultra mimic. What purpose? To create an army, essentially. Of living ships. So basically what we were going to take it back for. <laughs> and I say I'm an entrepreneur. Al, as you're in the back there and you look through the crates, you see a lot of the crates with the brand. Mm -hmm. um, looking inside any of them reveals them to have small, jelly-like ships and bottles oh oh hmm. I oh, want to take that uh, bottle out of your bag yeah yeah is it I take it out is it dead or um it's fine right now but if you put probably yeah. need some water yeah I kind of put it in the water huh See? The tendrils retract. As you all are unilaterally pausing the battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll, I'll shout out to... Or I won't shout out, but I'll mentally communicate with everybody. Have communication with this mimic. It makes sense. Yeah. It opens up. <sighs> and it gives basically what it knows to each of you. It knows that it was found and deliberately placed on this ship to consume it. It has it is a extremely hungry being. It smelt the complexity of intelligences on the ship great volumes of wood and iron powder and strange canvas manta rays. It basically sucked on the bottom of the ship and then eventually just became so hungry that it hungry, hungry caterpillared the boat and then became the boat. Is it still hungry? Um, it is simply a gargantuan hungry organism. Uh, now in the prime of reproductive maturity. <laughs> so, essentially, uh, no. It's not hungry right now. We'll be later. I, um, I end the link with the mimic. And I telepathically communicate to the rest of the others. Um. This feels bad. <laughs> so, uh... A real moral dilemma here. First off, that broad shortened us. 250 gold per creature? Come on. Come on! It's the worth of a creature, right? I mean, something this powerful? 2,000 each. Each! <laughs> On the other hand, big monster. <laughs> gonna eat stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be bad for ships, for... Cruise. How many will die either way? Well, I say we destroy it and we don't go back to that lady because she will try to kill us. Or, or we destroy or, it, we go back and rob her because she clearly has the gold. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. I'm actually on board. That's with that what idea. I'm good with. And how do I work with you guys? My charm. my charm, my <clears> charm. <throat> <laughs> we 
we really going to commit genocide here? Uh... It's a big one, Chief. That's a big one. I'm practically the devil himself, but why not? <laughs> Doesn't your deity have anything to say about this? Well, we could always go back and say that there was nothing here. It was taken already. What about pirates? Don't be a blatant lie and she'll know it, but... Could yeah, we can just kill her. Whatever. Well, this doesn't feel good. Hmm... I, uh... I need to enter my thinking space, and I just start swigging. <laughs> I'll turn the mount towards it, and I will have it take me into the center of the brain again. Okay. And I'll start swinging again. All right. Ugh, make some attacks with advantage. Yep. Twenty-two. Two damage. Twenty-two. Eight. Thirty points of damage total. All right. And I'll uh... um, I don't ha so I can't see the, the 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 horse's sheet. How much damage is it if I stay there? Oh. Um... One d10 force damage. If I on my next on the end of my turn or at the beginning of my next turn. If it ends your turn inside. Okay. I will stay there. Okay. I'll take the one d10 damage. Okay. At the end of your turn, the cl the clam is going to use legendary actions. Uh oh. Alright, um, I need you to make a strength saving throw. You. What was that? Who? Uh, Josh and uh, Ryan, both of you. Oh. Uh oh. Strength save, huh? Mm -hmm. It's what I'm great at. Huh? Natural 20. Nice. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Alright. Ryan, you take 2d6 damage. Oh. And are pushed 10 feet away. Okay. I'm over here now. Yeah, more like over here. Oh, in that direction. Okay. Okay. What's my 2d6? Oh, um... And also... When you guys you're uh, dealing out damage, can you get to the 1d10 as well? Alright, that's 3 damage to you, Ryan. Nice. 
That's eight damage to Josh. All right. It's going to reopen and it's going to use its action to make an attack. Uh, we'll say against jo Josh's character. Inside the clam. Yep. You still attack me? Oh, mind lash. I need you to make a DC. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Once again, something I'm absolutely great at. Six. Oof. All right. Um. Hit. You take. Six bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Okay. All right, that's its turn. Are you guys looking on health? I'm below half. Below half as well. Who's up? Oh, it's Kyle. Um, okay, I'm gonna move up to it. Still open, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use Inflict Wounds at oh. level three. Ooh. Okay. A melee spell attack. How does that work? Uh, basically, you have to touch it. You roll to attack. So just roll your d20 and then add your spell attack uh, modifier. modifier. And your proficiency bonus, I believe. That's part mm -hmm. of the spell attack. Okay, so. Twenty plus six. Oh. Sixteen to hit. That hits with the shell open. Sweet. So then it's going to be five d ten necrotic damage. Wow. Nice. And then bonus action, heal, and for 2d6. And he can attack again. He's making an attack again. <sighs> you heal for 10 as well. Oh, sick. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Oh, yeah. 18 points of damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beefy. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay. It is. Did you go, Al? I go at the top of the round, right? So. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to whip out the bag of holding and start chucking kegs of alcohol. I have seven of them left into amongst the crates of, you know, babies. Oh, gosh. And I point at our cleric, you know what to do, chief. And I start booking it. <laughs> Uh, I can go. I use a... Okay, never mind. Go ahead, sorry. I'm gonna book it right over here. Can I reach him, or is he actually inside the brain? He's actually inside. 
Well, this is inconvenient. I'm gonna start punching my way through. Oh, no, wait, I can't. I just used all my actions to to throw seven kegs. I assume that's all my actions. Oh, yeah. Yep. But I'm here now, so. Cool. I'm gonna use a key to go into, what is it, defensive stance? I think I found it here. Patient defense, the Patient dodge defense. action. No. It basically puts you in the dodge action. Okay. In case he attacks me. So all attacks yep. against you have disadvantage. Yep. There we go. Okay. End of your turn. I need both Ryan and Kyle to make some strength saves for me. I'm going to roll real dice. Okay. I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, ten. Because mm. <laughs> I have plus zero. <laughs> uh, two. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're both pushed back ten feet. Ay, 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 ay. And you both take. Ten points of damage. Ooh. Yay. Kinda hurt. Alright. I believe it's Josh's turn now. Okay. I'm just oh, checking can... back up and I'll blow the place. Well, I'm gonna take yeah, I'll take my two attacks first. Twenty-four or two points of damage, and then oh, a fourteen. <sighs> a fourteen hit. Uh, with this, I see yes. Okay. And that is another eight points of damage. Dang. For a total of a total of thirty. Ooh. Right. And then using that movement, uh, the corporeal movement, I will make my way up here. All right. My uh, sea mare comes with me. Two words, actually. Technically, a mare is a female, so Stacy. <laughs> Actually, I don't think you could move because you were grappled technically by the mind lash. No, I will. Well, yeah, the mind lash it grappled you on the and it attacked you last turn. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So you could try uh, to use your action to make an escape. Try to use my action to attack. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. No, I'll stay there. All right. At the end of your turn, it's going to use a legendary action. Uh oh. To do a mind lash on you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Josh. Mm. I'm here. I get it. I just wanted to clarify who I was talking to. 12. Wow. DC was third. Was that the DC? Oh no. You are charmed. I have advantage against being charmed. Ignoring any immunity to the charmed condition. Okay, if you have advantage, roll again. Please. 13. You are not charmed. <laughs> Speaking of charmed, isn't the clam still charmed technically? No. Yeah. You stopped playing you, music. You, you were playing, playing music. Oh, I have to play the entire time. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That is what I said. <laughs> you right. You right. Whew. Okay. Well, not charmed. Still grappled. Not charmed, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Now it's its turn. Wait. 
Um, Yikes, it's a lot of words. All right, it throws a Mind Lash out at Al. With disadvantage. With disadvantage, why with disadvantage? Because I took the defensive stance. Still well, he <laughs> still gets me, yeah. <laughs> Takes seven damage. Okay. Ooh, we're getting close. Dude, I'm out of the spell slots. Yeah, we're down to the I last get one more. moment here. And you are grappled. Okay. Alright, that's the end of its turn. Kyle, you're up. I, who is the closest to death? I'm a... I'm a bloody pulp, basically. <laughs> I'm doing okay for the moment. Alright, um, so I will use another... My last channel, Divinity... In my bonus action, I'll do bonus action first to use that to get a spell slot back, level 2. And then I will cast... Cure Wounds... at level 2. On... Ow. Okay, nice. So that's 2d8 plus 3... Wait, my spellcasting ability modifier, that's proficiency and my... No, it's just, just your wisdom. Okay. So, Perfect. That counts, right? As not hitting. Can you see my cone? I mean, I guess. <laughs> to someone. <laughs> Alright, Al. You heal um... nine points of health. Oh, nice. Back up. Then a... I've got to spend the Aura of Vitality on Xan so he can attack more. Yeah, no, definitely. Full 2d6. How do I get uh, rid of these? Heck if I know. Okay, you heal 5, Xan. I do love the templates that this thing has. And you can go ahead and attack, too. Okay, I'll take my uh, attack then. I don't know how to get rid of them. Oh, well. Is this clan technically partially submerged? Yes. All right. Steam and clams. Oh. Another 13 points of damage. Wow, that was a low roll. Okay. Yeah, that was awful. A six and three ones. <sighs> More slashing. Ooh. My turn now, right? Uh huh. All right. Time I bring a gun to this knife fight. I'm gonna stick my pistol shrimp under the water. Oh no. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shrimp. <laughs> and uh, I need him to make a DC 13 constitution saving throw for me. <laughs> uh, Please fail. <laughs> Please fail. <laughs> uh, yes! yes! Nine. Yes! All right, he's taking 4d8 thunder damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I should probably... Amazing. I should probably roll... I'm gonna roll real dice. I trust them better. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ooh, it's... It's bad. Oh. Uh, so 8, 9, 10, uh, 15 total. Not as good as I'd want it to be. 15. It's not terrible. Of oh, thunder, bad. yeah. Alright. But a brain matter splatters onto the side. Yep. Alright. That was a... I have... Or I have a bonus action still, if... I can utilize it. Yeah, sure. What do you need? Okay. Um... Can I throw darts? Yeah. As a bonus action, since they're one-handed thing. Fairly. Because I'm still, I'm in, I'm entangled basically, right? Yeah, you are grappled. Okay, uh, but... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna whiff a dart, see if it hits him. All right. Do I still have disadvantage? No. Okay. Oh, dirty twenty. Seven damage. Seven damage. How do you want to do this? 
Oh, yes. No way. <laughs> yes. With the dark. Um. So after firing the gun, it's gonna like blow open a piece of the, the brain matter, exposing uh-huh. like the really important pink stuff right in the middle. And I'm gonna like <laughs> overhand it, and it's gonna stick into the brain, and just go straight through it out the other side. All right. There's blue mm-hmm. splatters everywhere, but the job is done. Ooh. Well, not done, done. As I feel the brain matter just kind of start to collapse around me, I order the mayor to push me up through the, um, up into, you know, oh. not suffocating. Yep. Good, you're still alive. It does that. Um, <laughs> oh. All right, so. So I haven't blowed up the babies. I can do that. As the brain Before... loses life, all of a sudden the ship groans. Oh. Yeah, that figures. And it begins to creak, and the water level begins to rise. Quick, right. blow the little ones. We're getting out of here. Hold on. Um, I pull out my last three bombs, and I chuck them into that area. Oh, um, nice. And just to be on the safe side, I also um, throw my I have vials of acid into that area just to, you know, add insult to injury. Okay, now we go. Aim for a bomb. I have six bombs. Chuck them. I'm going to throw all Chuck. six of my bombs in there, too. And then Sacred Flame. Okay, so that's nine bombs. Seven casks of ale and how many vials of acid? Five vials of acid and a sacred flame. All right. As we're all running towards the front. I'm going to jump on the mare and go, anyone who wants to, get on. Ooh. We'll just go straight out the side of the ship. All right. Go yes. straight out the side of the ship. Yeah. Guys, this is a skill challenge. So I need you guys to make some rolls to try and escape. Max, what if we're going straight out the side of the ship? Incorporally. Incorporally. Only one of you can do that. Oh. Okay, fair enough. I'll stick with you guys then. (laughs) Can you send Mm. the horse back in for the rest of us? Possibly. That's how the item works. (laughs) Uh, let's go for the mouth. It'll probably open now. <laughs> or if we go to the other side and blow that, it'll make a big old hole. We can just swim right out. Maybe. I'm glad we all grabbed bombs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I need everybody to roll a dexterity check for reflexes to get out of here. Just an ability check? Yeah. Ooh. 10 plus 3, 13. 8. Plus proficiency? Ooh. Or just plus the dex? Nat just 20. Dex. Okay. If I'm oh, on my nice. horse, do I have advantage? Yeah. Team. Okay. Um. You each immediately begin making your way for an escape to any route. There's a large explosion behind you. You don't pay mind to it. Um, As you reach the front where the um, whale mouth was, um, it does appear to be open if you want to try and escape through that route. Yes, Mm. I think that's our best bet. All right, each of you run through, start swimming your way up. Um, I need con saves from those who need to breathe. Mm-hmm. I think that's all of us. <laughs> oh, no. 11? Okay. 18. Seventeen. Okay. You should be holding Ooh. your breath and you eventually make it to the very top. You breach the surface just as the poor veneer sinks to the bottom. 
and that's where we'll stop. The current didn't tonight. suck us down. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. Was fun little campaign. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that heavy moral decision, though. <laughs> yeah. Heck, Max. Uh, I like how we were just like, ah, screw it. <laughs> a big monster. Big monster. All right. Uh, I gotta go to bed. But yeah, I'm exhausted. Later. That was Same a lot of here. fun, Max. Thanks. Yeah.